see guys i love julius malema right but um i feel like um some of his concepts are just too broad you know what i'm saying his concepts are just too fairy tale like you know you know a lot of people can come up with yo i want to create wakanda yeah i want to do this and bring you and unite africa unite people make people one from all african countries you know but it's not as easy as um you one would imagine you know it's not as easy uh to do that as one would imagine yeah it seems like black pop and flays while we're talking about it you know but if one country can attempt to do this it's proven to have failed before you know with mugabe mugabe tried the exact same thing that my is trying to do with the no border situation and all these things not exactly the no border but this empowerment of black people on this large level scale to a point where one is trying to undo colonization completely uh, it can backfire it can backfire because now there's a lot of people who are out there who have uh, an agenda you know and this agenda cannot be broken you know? uh, this agenda is the agenda of um, the white supremacy you know so this white supremacy you can beat it of course you can get rid of it you can empower people you can give them land you can give them um, all these things you know but they will sabotage you you know they will sabotage you i hope you guys eff i know i hope you guys are ready for the sabotage you know the sabotage can go as far as possible is Malima well ca uh, capable, you know, to fight this thing? You know, he can be, have the, the most purest intentions, the most purest, you know, heartfelt message for Africa. But can you beat the West? Do you have uh, everything you need to, to defend yourself from uh, attacks from the West? Do you have the correct media platforms the right everything to protect yourself do you have the right communication to and everything to be able to go against world organizations you know? can you go against uh, someone like, like against you to to get you um uh, what's it called sanctioned can you fight sanctions can you fight sanctions can you can you have a great relationship with your the bricks can you continue this good relationship that we have can you continue beautiful relationships that we, south africa is built with other countries or are you gonna succumb you know you know when people fail to understand your ideals can you defend yourself properly without uh, angering them and causing people and causing feuds you know to ask yourself those things because if you look at malema who are his allies you know his allies are just his people that he has with him but who are his allies from other parties you know only now when you see things are where they are where you start to see about Kalniyas and all these people trying to join but what more can you do what charisma do you have? does malema have charisma because you don't only need to be what malema has shown is that he's good at fighting good at fighting he can fight and he can state his case you know but malima to me hasn't shown that he can be able to disarm people you know and disarming people doesn't mean they have to you, know, you have to fight them you can't fight everyone you have to be able to disarm some of these people in what in charisma like okay this guy is not a threat this guy means well to me malima doesn't come across someone who means well to someone who's not have a strong brain you know if someone doesn't have a strong intellectual brain brain you think malima is a goddamn fool you think malima is a guy who's just causing conflict you know only intellectuals like us will be able to see oh no malima speaking you know and uh, people only understand charisma you need to have that mandela charisma you can't be uh just dissing people all the time you know and then it ends there no it can't end there it needs to go further further than what it is you know 
you need to have more and you need to be able to do it now you know rather than later because people already have their own allies their own this and that their own this and that you see Ramaphosa that guy not that I'm promoting him or anything but that guy will argue and whatever but you see him smiling and uh, being oh, the charismatic leader you know whether he's what and what and what and what you won't see him being angry and shouting at people and it's good to shout. It's good. To, there's a time for fighting, but there's a time now. People want a charismatic leader. They want a leader who inspires hope. Like you know, when it's time for World Cup, you know, you want a leader that would go and be hugging people, there, giving people hugs, kisses, and all those things. When you watch those things, the nation feels hope. Like hey, we have a good leader. Eh? He he gets along with people. But now you have a leader that, you know does not create a situation where people are you know disarmed you know he has to learn that and that's the only way you can create allies rather than enemies you know you need to create uh, allies not enemies you need to defeat your enemies now you must know who are your allies who are your enemies and then you must learn to be you must find your diba dance your diba what what you know all those things it makes sense then you can be charismatic and uh, you can inspire hope from people. People can be like, oh, no, this guy is good. Uh, be someone you can't, they can't fuck with, you know, when it comes to a fight, but also be a guy they can't fuck with when it comes to charm and grace. You know, there's a way to fight a war by being charismatic and uh, loving and all this. Malema is loving and all that, but in your PR campaign, everything it has to be you know you have to find a way to have allies you know whether they take over whether they don't you need to find a way to um, have allies you know countries must be your allies if you look at Mandela you know he had allies everywhere you know he had allies you know your Bill Clintons your you know your Queen Elizabeth you know he didn't fight Queen Elizabeth. Say, hey, this woman just stole our what, what, what. Okay, sharp. You said it. You said it. But after that, you must be, you know, be able to go to England and say, yo, how are you guys? How's the royal family? How's and then disarm them. Get what you want, but by disarming them, you have to, you have to disarm them. You know, and then get your way, get your way, so that when you do your thing, people don't have grudges against you. You know, and then you can have a long relationship with those people. But if you're now just going to war every time you're doing your thing, and you're, you're going to be someone who's always seen as someone who's always defending themselves, you know, people are never going to see your true personality. They're never going to see your sweet side. And that's going to create a lot of enemies for you, you know. And that's where the problem is for me, you know. And uh, this uh, whole um, African border thing, you can't do it, man, if you don't have that. You need to have more than just uh, your fighting spirit and whatever by fighting spirit is not gonna bring uh, that united Africa I'm speaking about because uh, a lot of people are gonna start fighting and saying oh, South Africa does not need this and that you know why don't these guys develop their own countries you get what I'm saying so you need to find a way you know it's gonna be very very difficult for Malema to pull it off 